first thing you do is neck relief. That's neck relief. <laughs> Not that sort of relief. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to show you a little image of neck relief. If I can pull this up without screwing everything up. Uh, there's a great image of neck relief that I pulled off of... Uh, um, uh, free license common site. Um, didn't have time to make it myself. It's a guitar, but um, the same thing applies to bass. At the top there, you'll see neutral position. Slight forward bow. That means it's a kind of a U-bend there. This is perfect. This is what you want. You want a very slight forward bow in the neck. Now, if you see the middle uh, picture, it's saying forward bow, extreme U-shaped bow. And that's not good because you're going to get string buzz at the points that are indicated on the diagram. A backwards bow is probably even worse because you're going to get buzz really all over the fretboard, but um, in general towards the middle. So what you're aiming for really is the top picture. How do you do that? Well, you adjust the truss rod, and I'll show you how. In this neck, we have a truss rod access at the headstock there. At the headstock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> and, uh, you know, you'll get your, let's see, Allen wrench, and you'll adjust it. Now, how do you know how to adjust it? Well, there's a good way to start off. Even with the gu uh, guitar intact, you can sight the neck, so you look down. Look down both sides of the neck, and if you can see, this is with the neck attached, of course. If you can see maybe an up bow or a really strong, uh, sorry, a back bow or a really strong forward bow, you're going to have to adjust the truss rod. And I'm going to show you a neat little trick uh, to show you um, using feeler gauges and the capo, not capo, because capo, like I said, is a middleman in the mafia. And I don't want a cap in my ass. So, let's use the bass I'm going to play later on, and I'll show you how to do this. It's really very simple. Um, I'll take the capo here. Can you see? I'm in shot here? Yeah. I'm going to put it on the first fret, okay? That's it all flattened out in the first fret. What I then do is I take my, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to the, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, after uh, this uh, truss rod neck relief segment, I'm going to answer some questions because there's a lot of stuff coming in. Um, this is a 12 thou feeler gauge, okay? Now, no matter what neck you've got, 20 fret or 24 fret, you know, a two octave neck, I always press the 17th fret down. Okay? So you're pressing the 17th fret down. Then what you do is you take your 12th feeler gauge and you go to the 7th fret. And if that just slides in nicely, just touching the strings, you're good. Okay? If it falls through, okay, if the feeler gauge falls through, then you've got too much of a back bow in your neck. What does that mean? That means you have to tighten the truss rod. You take your hex key, and in this particular base, 
it's mine and I designed it and it's so ace that you can just, you know, slot the truss rod in. Uh, I mean, uh, the Allen wrench in there and adjust it, you just plop it in and the truss rod needs tightened so it's righty tighty, okay? Lefty loosey. That's the same with most dual action truss rods that are on the market nowadays. That's the way it works. So when I tighten the truss rod, it's going to pull the neck back slightly if that feeler gauge was falling through. And it's going to bring the neck into alignment. Conversely, if I couldn't get this feeler gauge through, 17th fret, 7th fret here, and I, and I couldn't get this through, I need to slacken off the truss rod. Lefty Lucy. And you do that until you get a good approximation of, you know, if it feels really good there, you're ready to go on to the next step. Some guitars, though, have such severe warps and um, imperfections in the neck, uh, usually due to climate and uh, the wood breathing, that you need much more mechanical assistance, but that's beyond the scope of this video right now. So that's how you adjust the truss rod.